Welcome to the program. You're watching Primetime News live from Seoul. I am Kang Tae-ri. And I'm Sean Lim. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We begin with President Bakune's appeal to Japan to resolve Tokyo's wartime system of sexual slavery. With only 53 Korean victims still living, time is becoming more of a top concern. That's right. And uh, Mr. President Bakune relayed these thoughts this Friday while welcoming a visiting Japanese lawmaker. But as our Chu Sung reports, Tokyo's twofold position on this matter may continue to hamper efforts to improve Seoul to Ties. At a meeting with Japanese ruling party lawmaker Toshihiro Nikai, President Park said finding a way to rightfully compensate the victims would be the very first step for Korea and Japan to improve their relations. The lawmaker, in response, said it would only be appropriate to resolve the issue while the victims were still alive and that he will join efforts in his country to bring a solution. Nikai, who is the chairman of his party's general council, then delivered a letter from Prime Minister Shinzo Abe suggesting Seoul and Tokyo work together to thaw relations, marking the 50th anniversary of their normalized ties this year. There's speculation, however, that Abe may deny that sex slaves were coerced into military brothels in his message marking the 70th anniversary of Japan's defeat in World War II later this year. One of the prime minister's aides had said the Kono statement, which acknowledges the women were forced into prostitution, will be nullified after Abe's upcoming statement. The dovish members within Japan's ruling party argue the contents of the statement must be thoroughly discussed by the party. In line with this, President Bak on Friday said she agrees with Chairman Nikai's position that Prime Minister Abe should take into account ideas and opinions from all corners of society in preparing his message. On the non-political aspect of bilateral ties, however, President Bak asked Nikai to continue his work on expanding people-to-people -people exchanges as the head of Japan's National Tourism Association. Choi Yu-san, Arirang News.